Hello, welcome to another episode of Holly D Live. I'm Holly D. And today we're going to talk about legalizing marijuana. Should it be legal in all 50 states? Should it be legal in everywhere in the world? Is crime going down because of fucking marijuana? What do you think? Tell me your thoughts. What's going on? Anybody? I always heard it was a gateway drug. Yeah, is marijuana a gateway drug? Yeah. That is a good fucking point. It is to the fridge. Gateway to the fridge. Gateway to the fridge. <laughs> Says Terror Bear. If they should let the people out of prison that are in there on 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 the charges, that's what they should do. They should let people out of prison that are in there on marijuana charges. I believe that too. And this could be intertwined with the criminal justice system and how fucked up it is. Because just because, I mean, for pot, for pot. The justice system is, is private now, so it's, it's, it's punishment to pay. Very true. Very true. Yeah, they're locking everybody up regardless. I think weed does a lot of things that are good for people. It makes people happier. It decreases anxiety. It fucking... Uh, it helps people with cancer not get sick, you know? Mm -hmm. Helps them heal. It helps people heal. It comes from the earth. It comes from the ground. It's like a... It's a plant, you know? It's just like making beans and tomatoes outside your garden. Outside your fucking house. That's what I fucking think anyway. And what do you do when you're a stoner? The most thing that you're going to do is walk around aimlessly, maybe be a little bit paranoid, depending on if you have Tiva or Kush. You'll just get stoned and eat every fucking thing and pass out with fucking pancake syrup around your mouth. And if you smoke Tiva, then you do everything with happiness. So what's the big deal? What's the big deal? Because they're like, you know, they don't want their kids to get on it. And I understand that too, you know, I guess to a certain age. But do I think it's a gateway drug? No, man. I know a lot of people that smoke pot and stop there. And I know a lot of people that smoke pot. But pot never wanted me to try cocaine. I tried cocaine because I wanted to try cocaine. Blame it pot on your... On your or using pot as an excuse or as a reason that you're doing another drug. It's just, uh, that's Thank just you. asinine. I mean, it's, just, it's, it's like saying, uh, this guy or this person made me do this drug or this guy made me do that or made me do that. No, you make your own choices. You make your own decision. Yeah, you have to, you, you have to, you know, the fucking devil made me do it. Fucking marijuana made me do it. Marijuana got me addicted to crack. No, 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 no. No, no, we shan't. Not today. You made the decision to, you know, you be a crack whore. Okay. Because <laughs> you're saying they made a choice to smoke crack, right? They so made a decision. Why what? Why is it considered a disease? Ooh. See what I'm saying? Why is addiction considered a disease if there's always a choice? You're sitting at a red light, and it's Friday, you got $400 in your pocket, you turn right, you go home to your kids. Pay your bills. You turn left, you go get you an eight ball crack. Light turns red, light turns green. You turn left, you made that decision consciously. See what I'm saying? Mm hmm. So, I don't really think it's a disease. But they say it's the disease that makes you think that way. So. But here's the thing on functional addict tip, what if that is the case? What Tear Bear just said. You know, what if people take care of their kids? And their bills. And they have food fully stocked. And the house is fucking clean. Shouldn't they have the right to go out and do what they want to do? It's not necessarily self-destructing all the time. Some people just enjoy doing it. I'm a high, I, I get high because I want to. Right. I, like it. I get high because I like it. It's not because I'm depressed. It's not because I'm suicidal. It's not because, uh, you know, I need it. I just want it. So you don't have to show me on this doll where you were. 
<laughs> Sorry, guys, inside joke. <laughs> Shit. But, yeah, I mean, it is a controversial subject, you know? It's, um... I think it's... Fuck, man. I mean, weed... Weed has done more good than bad, I think. Marijuana is educating kids in Colorado and Washington. Did you know that? Fun fact. Yeah. They're building new highways. They're building miniature homes for the homeless, all using weed money. It works. Washington and Colorado proves that it works. Ohio, I agree. Ohio just can't get it together. Ohio's too conservative for pot. They don't understand it. Oh, that's why I can't do fucking stand-up comedy in ever, anywhere with Dayton. In this, in everywhere in Ohio. I, you know, like, I got kicked out of the Funny Bone, Go Bananas, all that stuff. You can't say nothing. Everything offends everybody. Exactly. Everything's, everything's taboo anymore. Well, fuck that shit, motherfucker. If I want to talk about sex, dude, I will. If I want to do what I want to do, then I will. It's my life. And I've, I don't have any regrets so far. So, you guys sitting there doing your shoulda, coulda, wouldas, the only freaking thing that people regret is what they didn't do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I wish I would have done that. I wish I would have met more people. I wish I would have fucking, you know, sipped life through a straw. I wish I would have gone to more concerts. I wish I was a baller. I wish I was a <laughs> I wish it was a little bit taller. I wish I was a baller. <laughs> I wish I would have said no. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean... We become who we become in this life. And I'm not saying addiction isn't a serious thing. Of course, people can take it to a bad place. But people can also take it to a good place. You know? They fired that, 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 that teacher in Columbia because he used heroin. Not at school. Just on, not, not all the time. Just once or twice. You know, did they drug test him? Is that how they found out? No, he told his class that he did it. And he said that he, he, you know, he should be able to do it. Blah, blah, blah. But... He lost his job at Columbia. Yeah, wow. Professor. Yeah, and, and he's not an addict. You know what I mean? I'm a high function. Did addict. somebody tell... Did somebody tell on him? Yeah, a, a, okay. Hey, did you know that um, in, at Harvard right now, they, they, they... I can't remember the name of the movie, but it's from 1965. It's got a white dude in blackface. One of the kids was offended, and they fired the music teacher. The Sound of Music, that was the The movie. Sound of Music, yeah. They fired the music teacher over something that he showed... And, and that wasn't even the topic of what they were talking about. You see what I'm saying? Wow, very interesting. This is crazy, man. Terror drink, brings up a good point. And, and uh, here's another thing. Snitches or no, I mean, you got to really have no hobbies to go that far into a teacher's life. Okay, that somebody who does it on his own personal time. You had to creep and crawl like a fucking snake in the grass, dude. To find out that he was on, on heroin. So you crossed the boundaries because you didn't have anything fucking better to do. I'm sick of these fucking bitches talking their shit, dude. Bitches, dudes, whatever. The Netherlands, Switzerland, and Portugal all proved legalizing all drugs works. Yeah, Amsterdam, they have it too. They have them in shops in Holland. They, you know, they, 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 they proved that it works. By the crime goes down... Yep. In per certain parts of Canada, that w I even watched a documentary on how marijuana is legal up there. It's very peaceful. And the only crime that they had in one certain city, they didn't have like any murders for three years. And the one murder that they had was somebody who crossed over from Michigan into Canada <laughs> and fucking killed somebody. So it's just like, man... People are just bigots anymore, man. They're not open-minded. They don't give people a chance. They don't give nothing a chance, but they want to be snakes in the grass and shit. I hate it. All right, Tom. Hey, uh, I got to go to the drive -thru. Okay. I'm so, done. on that note, thank you for listening to this controversial, beautiful podcast with T-Gun and Tear Bear, and we will talk to you later. I'll be back in about 10 minutes. Love y'all.